my channel i am being ambitious and if this is your first time here what's poppin sis i hope you catch a vibe that makes you want to subscribe in today's video you guys will be seeing how i do these heatless curls on my relaxed hair so i'm not going to talk too much more in the intro let's get to the video so what you're going to need for this video is some type of setting lotion i chose the motion setting lotion and you'll need 12 flexi rods i'm not sure what inch this is it may be one inch it may be a half i don't know but i'm going to be using the gray ones and then you will just need a rat tail comb a brush like this the bristle brush whatever you want to call it and optional a wide tooth comb but yeah so this this part doesn't have to be perfect at all i just kind of usually do mines at the arch of my brow and I'll go back like that. That's a good tip. I'm gonna take this bristle brush and just comb through my hair, get all the little possible kinks out from the previous time I rolled my hair. A little bit of this weightless oil and just grab all my hair, put it on the tips of it. I'm gonna take the rest of my hair and pin it back and just work on my little bang area here. All right. Come and do that again. To start at the bottom, just part my hair here. Get a good amount of hair, something like that. I take the roller and put it in the middle and then I wrap going away from my face, not toward my face, away from my face. And when I get it to that tip, I hold that tip of the hair there, and then I just roll back, roll back, roll back. Take this part here, bend it. Take that part there, bend it. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna do the same thing for the front part. I'm going to do it. And since I have 12 of them, I try to count. So I do three in the front, two on the side and then I leave the rest for the back area rolling it away from our face holding the tip bringing it back bringing it back bringing it back and then twisting it boom like that same thing for here flipping it here rolling it away from our face here yeah. Then where I ended the L part here, I just like to do this and part there so I can get the side here. Part it in two. I try to get an even amount of hair on each side so one curl don't look a little bit bigger than the other. So now for this way, you want to roll the hair like so it'll flow that way. I take the roller, put it here, and I roll. Pin it there. Clamp it. Just like that. Do it again. When I roll. Pin it with your thumb there. And when I pin it with my thumb, thumb, that's the best way to, so that your ends of your hair won't be sticking outside of the flexi rod. So that was for the front. Now we're going to back. So on the back part of my hair is where I use the motions because that's what my hair, it, it's like more dry in the back versus like in the front since I've been rolling for the first few days, for a lot of days actually. Um, So it's kind of already, you know, it got a little moisturizer to it but this is really what i use to help moisturize my hair so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to turn around and show y'all how i do it while i brush some comb through here want to get all those kinks out you want to part it two times so that you will get three sections so this is going to be a section the middle will be a section and then this will be a section 
Okay. So you just use a rubber band to put these two. Um, wrap it in lotion. It'll fall on in. Moisturizing through my hair. Because I know I'm going to do this into two. Split it in half. Comb it yeah. You want to put it in the middle of the hair. And you're going to wrap to the front. Pin it. And roll it. And you're just going to follow this. Take the flexi rod, put it in the middle, and wrap toward the front. When you get to the tip, you want to hold it down and then roll. So then you'll have those two. Same routine for the rest of my hair. And then I'm just going to time lapse it, let you guys view that. <laughs> Get all the rollers in. I usually take a big bonnet like this and then just put them all in. I got this bonnet from the Dollar General store, by the way. All right. So now I can go to sleep. I can lay around the house. Now, since these aren't too wet, um, honestly, I can let them sit in for like a few hours and then the curls will be complete. So I'm going to come to you guys in a few hours. I'll actually put the actual time lapse and we'll get the after product of my heatless curls on relaxed hair. What's up, you guys? I am back with fresh sheets on my bed. I did my makeup and I have one. One of the outfits is going to be in my Kato's try on haul. So I don't know which ones I'm uploading first though, but whatever. So it is now 8.47 and I did this basically at 2 o'clock. So we're going to see how my curls do. So I'm going to start from the front. And I like to just spiral them down. Get this cute little bing, like so. And the longer they stay in, of course, the tighter they'll be. So if these was, you know, like overnight, it would be even tighter. But just want to roll them down. I try to like take them out gently so that they don't just, you know, come out any kind of way. Look at that. Bink. <laughs> Curl. All right, got all my little curls out. Of course, we are not going to keep them like this. That's not my vibe. Right, so what I like to do now is just take them out with my hand, you know. And for the back, just wear them out like so. This side and do the same thing. 
I want to manipulate your curls too much if you want a curly look. So then I'm going to take these, do the same thing. I'm just kind of loosening them up and twisting them randomly, like so. I'm just take my comb, give it a little body up there. Do the same thing in the back area. Go under. Not too hard though. Just really soft. You know. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys the back. Alright guys, so that is basically how I get these heatless curls using my flexi rods. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up if you like this type of content. Let me know in the comments if you are relaxed or natural. I always like to have this conversation. This is a judge-free zone because I keep going back and forth between the two. I really hope that you got something from this video. And like we say on this side, if you like the vibes, you might as well subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.